I went to bed at 12, but I listened to a podcast sort of while I was falling asleep, so probably wasn't asleep till 1. Woke up at like 8 and was still too tired and been sleeping all morning. So Sapna's going to laugh at me because I under-delivered again. But the last laugh is on Sapna because my breakfast is all food from her podcast party launch. So I'm eating off you. That sounds wrong. Uh, but anyways. Uh. Oh, and yeah, double whammy against Sapna. I wasn't listening to her podcast as I was going to sleep. I was listening to Smart Passive Income talking about affiliate marketing. But bonus for Sapna, I was like falling asleep during it, so I didn't hear any of it. I'll listen to yours when I'm awake, Sapna. Okay, update. You know what I should do, actually? I should put some kind of like backdrop here because most of my show, my show takes place in my bed from this angle. I also need to lose this chin. No more brownies or whatever the hell I was eating yesterday. Take two. I've been lying in my bed uh, just posting old photos and videos to Instagram. It takes a while to get all the tags, like the hashtags, and then the tag the usernames and come up with the perfect phrasing. <sighs> Anyways, I gotta go to the gym. Now I'm gonna get out of bed, go to the gym, which I have to do, not only to lose weight, but also so I can hopefully be tired and sleep better. Uh, and then I gotta finish that because I wanna go see the fireworks and the tree lighting at City Hall. And if anybody wants to come, let me know. I'll be dressed for it, so. I did the jam. Okay, just did my weights, then ran for almost an hour watching Black Mirror. Every time I think, oh, they can't possibly come up with something like even better for this show, then another episode is like blows my mind. And I thought Stranger Things was good. Ah, this is amazing. Okay, so I got on and the driver said, is it okay uh, that we're diverting around Nathan Phillips Square? We're going up Dundas. And I said, yeah, I'm going to Nathan Phillips Square. And he's like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I'll get you off. I mean, uh, I mean I'm not that, I'm like, ooh. And I said, that's, that's extra. And he said, yeah, that's 350. So I might get lucky with the driver tonight. He's kind of cute. Maybe he likes my Ernie hat. Hoo-hoo-hoo, <laughs> score. Okay, he let me off here even though it's not a stop. Can you see him there? Can you see him? Let me see. Where, no, that's not him. Uh, where's my boyfriend? Uh, and he said, like, okay, well, have a good night. And, uh, yeah, sorry about the, uh, or sorry for, and I'm like, and he never said it. And he didn't have to say it. I understood. We don't need words between us. We just, we share feelings and emotions. All right, now I gotta find Kathleen. I could just message her and ask her where she is exactly right now. But that's no fun. I like a challenge. Wow. All right, I guess this is like technically supposed to be fun. Like, cause it's like an activity that people do. But that music's too loud. It's gonna give me hearing damage and it's raining. And I don't know. Let me just get a shot of this sign, and maybe YouTube will uh, just happen to make that my thumbnail when I post this. And then you can tell what this video was about. Uh, well, the lights are pretty, anyways. All right, we got Kathleen. She messaged me that she was at the Milano tent, so I started walking over, but she found me. I guess because of my hat. It's good to have this hat. Uh, and it's very loud, so I'm not going to make many videos, but we're checking out the rink. Yeah, there it is. I don't have skin. Okay, I don't know about this. I'm just walking around with my feet, my rain boots, and then people have blades, and they're just skin. Somebody's going to slice my feet off. This is an overall dangerous situation. This is, like, so crowded. This is insane. There's the big tree. I missed the fireworks, apparently, uh, and I missed the tree lighting. But there it is. Uh, as a Jew, I'm impressed. Um... It's just too loud though, and the speakers are everywhere, so I can't escape this concert. Ah! Doing a funny pose, this guy was just putting his face in his hands or something. I'm sure it's a hilarious Instagram. Maybe he like, he, he failed to get his record deal with CTV or something. Oh wait, I just dropped the glove. I dropped something. Oh, there's the glove! This leather glove, it's dark, you can't see, but I picked it up in Nathan Feld Square. And uh, Kathleen was saying, no, if it's leather, you should leave it. Somebody's going to find it. Like, they'll look for it. I'm like, there's no way they're coming back to look for this glove. So I've got it. But then it just leaped out of my pocket. Maybe it wants to be free. It wants to find its owner. Every girl I pass is smiling at me. And I'm like, hi. And like, even the girl at the, at the cash there. But then I realize, oh, they're looking at my Ernie hat. I'm sure. I thought I was suddenly handsomer or something. 
check it out. I love this. They have their own Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter just for this store. So I'm going to tag them. Second Cup Queen Street. Hello, Second Cup Queen Street. Thank you for having us. Nice hot chocolate. Okay, this is epic. I already got a message back from Second Cup Queen Street saying thanks so much for visiting. These guys are on the ball. Oh, I wonder if they're watching me right now. Where are they? Is it one of them? Oh my god, who is it? It's such a mystery. We did a little investigation, and she tells me the boss's name is Nadia Barus. Barus, and she's the one messaging back. I'm on to you, Nadia. Are you watching me? Is she at home? Where is she? Now I'm paranoid. Ty is her name for short, but I asked her full name. It's Taisa. That's her. And uh, she asked for my Instagram so she can find this little story. And look, there's a little sign that says Nadia, because we know Nadia is somewhere around here. She keeps messaging back. It's so crazy. Okay, so uh, Nadia just revealed her Instagram name. It's Nutra Nadia. Well, I'm going to tag her here. Uh, and I have a message for Second Cup Corporate, who I've talked to in the past. Uh, they sent me some coffee uh, cards because of... Uh, oh man, this message is too long. All right, they're shutting down at 9.45 like they're supposed to, but my message for Second Cup Corporate is give them a raise. Give Nadia a raise, give Ty a raise, and the blonde girl. I haven't talked to her, but she looks deserving from a raise as well. I usually go to the other Second Cup at King Street, but I'm coming to this one from now on. It's the pizza guy. He recognized Kathleen because that's she brings my pizza every Friday. So you gotta come to the party next Friday. Watch you. This is our supplier. All right, nice. That's Pizziolo. I was wondering how she got that pizza. Cause she's like, I never ordered pizza, but that's she. Well, okay, from that. Oh God, I was on my bed and I was so close to just going to bed, but then I'm like, oh, I'll just have something to eat. What did I have? Like at least two of these chicken sandwiches and then the rest of the pastries, and then a whole thing of s'mores, and I just threw out the package. Oh, God. Oh, and uh, one of the pizza slices. At least I stopped myself from eating the second. Oh, and I also had some of the grapes. So the pizzas from Kathleen, and all this other food was from Sapna. You women will be the death of me. Or maybe what will be the death of me is my lack of self-control and my lack of going to bed on time and then picking out just before bed and then having uh, antacid reflux. Anyways, shout out to uh, Brian who just added me. He uh, runs Go Skinny Tea. Not antacid reflux, acid reflux. That would be cool if I had antacid reflux. Actually, I used to take antacids, but then I read the instructions and it says if you take them, it negates other medicines. Anyways, Brian just started following me and uh, I want to be... Like, it just occurred to me to mention it because I'm picking out here and I need to lose weight and I think I would be a very charming and sexy uh, ambassador for Go Skinny Tea. Um, I could buy a bikini, like whatever you need done. I could be like a tea girl, so let me know. Okay, I'm in bed and it's time for nighttime bedtime thoughts, whatever they're called. I just made up like the idea of having a title for this part. I'm still wearing my clothes, but don't be deceived. I am going to sleep. It's just too cold to take off my clothes. I would turn up the heat, but then it'll be too hot while I'm sleeping, because the ideal sleep temperature is 19 degrees Celsius, I read. I really need to get one of those automatic things, so it, like, it'll be warm when I go to sleep, and then it'll cool down automatically, and then warm up again in the morning so I can get up. I posted a picture of me at the second cup with the cashier, and I wrote a nice little story under it, but I figure I just want to address it in video form now. Uh, what was her name? Ty. She said uh, that She said that I was excited that I was posting about it. She's like, oh yeah, bring in more customers because then we'll get a raise. And I was like, you actually get a raise if you get more business? She's like, yeah. So that's why I posted in the video. I said, hey, Second Cup Canada, give Tessa and uh, Nadia a raise. But then I delved into Nadia, uh, Nadia, her boss's Instagram page. I delved into Nadia, that sounds wrong. Um, and it turns out Nadia, well, she's her boss, but she's actually a co-owner of that actual Second Cup. And I don't think Second Cup corporate would be giving Nadia a raise. I guess it would be Nadia that's giving Ty a raise. So I correct myself. Somebody get a raise. I hope everybody gets a raise. I hope me promoting this brings lots more people into that store. It was just very confusing at first because I'm like, I think uh, Nadia's page says she's 24 years old and I'm like, she's co-owner of a second cup at 24 and a nutritionist and Ty's only like 20, I think. I'm like, how can you? But I guess if you're smart... I guess if you're smart and ambitious and work hard, you can actually achieve things. That's a foreign concept to me, clearly. I mentioned in my photo at Second Cup, or like the comment underneath, uh, that on the way back, Kathleen was saying uh, she really likes 
Well, she likes seeing my thoughts because she, she sees that I see the world in a very different way. Kathleen said she never would have noticed that sign that said the Instagram username. So she likes that, that I observed that and uh, that's why she likes my videos and stuff. And I was like, thanks. Like years ago, uh, this director, when I was shooting a commercial in Miami, the director said, man, I wish I could follow you around all day and, and film you like sharing your observations about things. And now, many years later, that's actually possible, and that's what I'm doing. So hopefully people like it. Apparently some people do. I'm hearing from people that they like watching these. You can see in that photo I posted today of the fortunes from all the fortune cookies at my birthday dinner in Ottawa a couple of weeks ago. Uh, one of them said, you see the world, oh, you see the beauty in everything, and all the small things or something. And I guess that's kind of like what I like to do. Oh, and about the second cup. Yeah, I was extra happy to see that it's actually owned by Nadia. So... You know, originally I was just thinking I want to support a Canadian business, but now I feel good because she actually owns that place or co-owns it. So I'm actually supporting a local, like a real hardworking individual. And I guess every business is kind of owned by someone, but I don't know. I mean, you, you pictured these big franchises, sort of the money not going to a direct person, like a nice Nadia type of person. So anyways, she messaged me directly and says she hopes she sees me again. Or she's never seen me, but she hopes the store sees me again. And uh, I said, yeah, I'll come in and interview you or something. She, and she said she'll keep that in mind. So that would be great. And yeah, I guess now i got to walk a few blocks north instead of just going to the, the second cup across the street. Let's dip into the mailbag for a minute. And for those of you who are younger than me, a mailbag is from when the mailman used to deliver mail. And if it was like fan mail for somebody popular, there'd be like a huge bag of mail. And then you'd dip into it to read a letter. Here's a message I just got on Instagram just after I got off the elevator. Uh, it's from Junkyard Dog or something. Uh, you'll see in the screen grab. And she's mad because she says, I didn't wave goodbye to Kathleen when I got off the elevator. So she said I was rude and I should treat others the way I want to be treated. And Kathleen was waving goodbye to me. And I explained that, no, she was waving goodbye to the video, and I was hanging out with her for two hours, and then just as I was getting out of the elevator, the pizza guy said hi to her, like he recognized her. Uh, he had already pressed 23, so I guess he was going to the same floor or something, but he was like, oh, hey. And then clearly it occurred to me, oh, yeah, so that's where she's been getting the pizza uh, that she brings to my parties. We had a weird discussion about it last night. She says she's never ordered pizza before, and I was like, well, where, where does this pizza come from? And I thought she meant like she walks over to pick it up, but now I'm wondering if that's not true because he recognized her. Anyways, I want to be a nice guy, and I want to uh, appreciate the junkyard, uh, I think her name's Carolyn or something, she has no photos. It's always the ones who have no photos and don't use their real names. They're the most eager to sort of attack you and, and uh, you know. Yeah, I want to be a nice guy and assume that she's genuinely concerned about Kathleen and just making sure she's okay, but on the other hand, how is this your business, and why are you saying I'm not a nice person, and I'm fairly sure Kathleen is not upset that I was filming as I was walking on the... So my question to you, audience, is how do I handle this? Do I try to stay calm and just go, thank you for your concern? You know, I really think Kathleen uh, understood that I was just getting off the elevator, but I will ask her and I'll make sure she's okay. Or should I snap back and go, who, what? Or I guess that question is too self-centered. What I should be asking is, was I rude to Kathleen? Uh, you know, uh, yeah, I, I guess from the video evidence, did it look like I wasn't saying goodbye to her? Or should I be asking this of Kathleen? Or should I just be spontaneously, without even asking, should I be apologizing to Kathleen? Should I bring her here for a live broadcast where I can, uh, you know, beg her forgiveness in front of the world? Anyway, this has gone off the rails. Uh, we were having a nice moment, you know, when I was at the Second Cup place, and I probably should have just ended the day's video there. Uh, sorry for that. Uh, oh, and I have a mailbag. One more mailbag question. This one is from Lore underscore Jessica, who, okay, so this was a couple of days ago when I was frying some eggs, and then I realized my spatulas were in the dishwasher, and I was like, how do I get my eggs off my pan? And then I never answered that question. Now, I realize that, uh, first of all, actually, let me explain why I'm always from this angle. Like, I know I should mix it up a bit, but if, well, right now my cord is charging, and also my CPAP machine is there, which I'm not even using these days, but you don't want to see it. That's too medical. But what I was going to say is I realized that when I show a screen grab of messages like that, um, 
it's sideways if you're looking at my Instagram story. No, it's sideways if you're looking at my YouTube and Facebook, and it's going by fast. So if you want to read it, you can pause it and turn your thing sideways or something. And by thing, I guess it would make more sense to turn your head sideways rather than to lift your lap. Doesn't matter. Do what you want. Um, yes, you can see your question. And oh, all right, here's the answer. I used a fork. I just sort of scraped all the eggs onto a plate and it was a big mess. So there you go. Now you can sleep. And yesterday I mentioned that to Kathleen that someone had asked how I got my eggs off the pan. And she said, well, you used a fork. I'm like, wait a minute. I never told anyone. How do you know? And she's like, I guess I just assumed. So Kathleen, she's very smart. Or maybe she's just getting to know me. Or maybe in the video she saw the fork in my hand and she extrapolated. Anyways, uh, time for bed. Thanks for sharing nightly thoughts with me. Well, you weren't sh